Hi, this is Steve from My Beam Custom Guitar Cases, and I'm here to show you how to make a good tracing so we get a good custom fit on your guitar. Uh, first of all, I'm starting out with a number two pencil, and I'm starting out with a piece of wrapping paper, which uh, almost everybody has in their house. So it makes it easy to uh, go ahead and make a tracing on your guitar. And you can wrap it up and stick a couple stamps in it and send it in the mail. Uh, first of all, we're going to take the whole pencil and we're going to trace the whole guitar using the side of the pencil, making one single line all the way around the guitar. First of all, the distance from the side of the pencil to the point makes your actual tracing about a quarter inch bigger than the guitar itself. Then, that's what we cut our molding out at. Then when we fold our material and cover that molding with the material it takes up that space that you, from the side of the pencil to the point and actually brings it back into the actual guitar size and you should get a nice custom tight fit. Okay so on the tracing there's really going to just be two important tracing uh, measurements to go on the whole thing. First of all you want to get the body thickness and on this particular guitar I got about an inch and a half body thickness. Um, the body thickness is going to be the actual thickness of the wood and on acoustic same thing uh, it's not going to include the knobs the toggle switch the bridge the pickup not to the top of the strings or just just the wood and uh, there's a calculation this stuff actually doesn't stick up more than three quarters of an inch most of the time so no problem there uh, the second important measurement is going to be your neck rest and in that case if you have a guitar where the tip of the headstock is not touching the table when your body's laying flat on the table uh, all you really need to do is just measure to the bottom of the nut from the table to the bottom of the nut whatever that measurement is that tells me how far I need to lift the neck up so that the tip of the headstock is not touching the bottom of the case. If you drop your guitar case, you definitely don't want the tip of your guitar to take the impact. You want it to take the impact on top of the piece of foam resting at this point. That way you don't have to worry about broken neck and the case is proper. Uh, there's uh, on a lot of other guitars uh, mostly uh, guitars, for example, Flying V's or an Explorer. You're going to have a, the headstock lift, elevate the body uh, a large degree away from the table. And uh, our goal here is to support the body. In other words, we put the angle that needs to be so that the whole bottom of the guitar is setting in the case and being supported at the same time than setting on the neck rest with the tip of the headstock off the bottom of the case. The way we're going to achieve that, if you have a guitar that the tip of the headstock touches and elevates the body is, is first of all, bring your guitar to the edge of the table where the headstock is off of the edge of the table and the body's laying flat. On this guitar, we're going to start out at zero because it's actually touching the table and the body's flat. So I'm going to have a measurement of zero, and I usually, uh, the seventh fret is usually what most people send me, which um, on this particular guitar, I have a measurement of about a half an inch. And at the, further up, um, I'm after the curvature of the horn where it actually stops, so that we can have a full neck rest support underneath here. There's three points tell us the three measurements it has to be for the incline to be able to support it all the way down. On this guitar the curvature stops at about the 14th fret and I have about three quarters of an inch right there. So what we would like to do is on your tracing after you have the whole guitar traced out is to label it the three measurements at the nut at the seventh and on this one it will be at about the 14th. On an acoustic guitar, it's going to be, you can see that after the curvature of the horn, it stops at about the 12th fret. So there we're going to be taking that measurement there under the nut, 
and you can go at the seventh again. Okay, uh, that pretty much completes it for an electric guitar. If you have an acoustic guitar um, with an arched back, that would be the only thing that would be different than what a regular electric guitar would be. All the measurements are done just exactly the same on an acoustic as an electric. And this one, since it has an arched back, what I'm trying to do here is level the strings which I got a torpedo level and set on there and leveled it. What that does is level the neck so that when the lid comes down the foam's gonna lock and leave a string impression all the way down the foam on the lid to lock in the neck on top of the neck rest and come down and touch the bridge and that foam on the lid is gonna sandwich it between the foam on the lid and the foam it's laying on that's in the bottom of the molding. So now your guitar is totally locked in. At this point, we can take, I just found something around the house that happened to hold it level, uh, but you can hold it by hand, and get the measurement that you need. On this one I have three and three quarters of an inch, and further back is actually a little bit higher, around four inches, to uh, make a full supporting neck rest. On this one, to get the body thickness, since it's an arch back, naturally the thickest part of the body is going to be in the center because that's the highest part of the arch. Um, so, with it leveled, it's actually setting on the highest point, which in which case you can measure from the table to the top of the guitar, which I have four and three quarters here. And that would be all you would need to do. You can actually take the level and hang it over and get that same measurement if it makes it easier for you to see it on a tape measure. That's pretty much it. It's that easy. Uh, if you have any other further questions, I have a, a partner, his name's Jeremy, uh, and he answers these emails faster than you might expect him to. And uh, if things get any more comp complicated than just email, uh, we don't have no problem at all calling you and discuss, get all the problems ironed out before we actually build your case. We uh, understand that you're spending a lot of money on this case, and unfortunately it costs a lot of money to build the case, or it would be a lot cheaper. <laughs> but, uh, because of that fact, we want to make sure it's right the first time. And uh, I have a lot of cases going on world tours, so they're proven. Uh, I've been doing it for 25 years. And uh, we've worked it down to a fine science. It's easy for everybody. So good luck with your tracing and contact us if you need help and rock on.